Meat is changing people's lives. Keller. Mike, the good news is that two of Milwaukee's largest hospitals, Columbia St. Mary's and Frederick, had no heat-related ER trips today, but we did find people changing their plans just to be safe. We are um, all year round walker outside people. Jenny Norum and her friend Amanda Scott typically clock four to five miles in their after work workout. But as Southeast Wisconsin settles into another heat advisory, they are trimming back. Today we're like taking it a lot slower and I'm pro we're probably not going to do quite as long today. Mm -hmm. Joe Hoff says we should all tweak our outdoor routines to fit the temps. He's the head athletic trainer with Freighthart and the Medical College's Sports Medicine Center. Do you find that people just don't know their limits when it's so hot? Yes, and that's the big key. One of the big dangers of working outside in extreme heat is dehydration. It can sneak up on you quickly, and it's serious. Joe tells me one trick is to weigh yourself both before and after you're out here working in the heat. If you lose more than 3% of your body weight, you are at risk of heat exhaustion. Once you're thirsty, you've already lost 1% to 2% of your body weight. Um, and in that case, you're, phys you're already um, decreasing some physiological functions. I can tell you just from being out on the trails today, water was everyone's best friend. It seemed like everywhere you looked, people were armed with it. Of course, if you're gardening or doing your workouts outside, the morning and evenings are your best bet, too. On your side, live in Milwaukee, Keller Russell, today's TMJ4. Makes good sense. Thanks, Keller.